So welcome everybody to my site. My name is Paul Smyers and I'm going to spend a few minutes here introducing myself to give you some context to who I am and the kind of research I've done over the years and a little bit of personal background. My basic intention over the years has been to try to understand the unity between what I call the the science and the soul. And when I was young I was born in India so I have an interesting background and I learned that there's a whole lot of different perspectives and different kind of buildings and constructions in the world and the way people live and the way they talk about God and all the other kind of divine aspects of human life. So I got curious over the years and I've never stopped learning. I have read a lot of books. I'll introduce a few of them in a few minutes here. But I have a very interesting background because I traveled a lot. My parents uh, took me across the Middle East to uh, when I was in my 14th uh, year and we came to America after being in India when I was young and I have a very different perspective because I've seen a little bit of the world but I've also seen the inner side of it. When I was in my 20, early 20s I learned how to practice a simple meditation which I've talked about in another little video here but over the years I practice a very very interesting internal knowledge practice that has taught me and brought me a lot of very powerful incredible experiences which I really can't even talk about. We all know we have um, a purpose in life to have self-knowledge and understanding and it's a very personal journey for all of us. So what I've tried to do here is to coordinate and research patterns and connect dots and convey to people look there's a lot of more about our existence then we are taught and if we pay attention and go internally a little bit and do some research and uh, vacate some of our concepts we're going to find out that this world and this life that we're in is so incredible that it just drops makes your jaw drop and that also applies to ancient history because there's so much we're not taught there's so many things that we just don't have time for in our life to go about and research all these ancient mysteries and get some kind of an understanding of who we are because that's so important we need to know who we are and my purpose in life here over the years generally has been to explore my own internal dimensions and then to say way hey, you know there's a whole lot of new things to go on and explore and I want to share those things with people so I developed a website back in the early uh, 2000s I guess it was and I actually started websites back in 1999 so I have a long history of being online and I was a photographer for many years and a traveler so I have a large website which I'll introduce and maybe put in the quotes here in the, um, the commentary and description but my main purpose has been to unite perceptions because God, for me, God is real. I was I was a born as a Methodist minister's son, and my grandfather was also a Methodist minister. And they went to the part, parts of the world to try to teach and tell people about their experience. But at the same time, those people, for example, in India, if you go to India and say, hey, we want to talk to you about God, they'll say, well, we've been talking about God for like 10,000 years. Where we, You've been talking about God for maybe 2,000 years. The experience of God is is a reality in my experience, but the concept of God, the kind of idea of what all we have, like this man sitting up in the, he maybe he's got a fly swatter for the bad guys, and he's got like a nice, okay, bless you, this you know for the good guys and so on. It's it's just a lot more complicated than that God, if God exists, okay, and we presume and experience that God exists, well, God is a very very intelligent being and very a lot of common sense as above so below make things simple, make things beautiful, and we're a participant in that, and just like a plant has all different kinds of cells, and some of the stems, and some of the roots, and some of the flower petals, and some of the nectar, and all of that con constitutes one plant. It's just oneness. So oneness is a cosmic reality that we're in, and all the mystics have said that, all the great sages have said that, and it's an interpersonal experience because we only have this consciousness. That's all we have is a consciousness. 
we sit there at our whatever state in our, we could be any kind of state of mind as we go through our life from the time we we're a baby all the way till we're old we have w this one consciousness that we have and that consciousness mysteriously enough is just a fragment of a divine consciousness the divine I am the ultimate oneness of the universe without that nothing exists and it may be a great mystery mystery beyond our mind's compre comprehension but if we just explore that a little bit and throw out some of our concepts we'll see that this life that we're in is incredibly incredibly magical and it'll just make you jaw drop so I can't explain a lot of my own personal internal experiences the dots I've connected but I can point you in certain directions and go do your research and internalize some of these things the great teachings of the ages and practice things in your own life some of these great sages and gurus have said practice them a little bit and find out just how magical this life is and part of that is exploring some of the content that I share here some of the interesting ideas and philosophies you might say um, I range from astrology all the way to zoology there's so many different things out there and we have the internet here we have an opportunity in this lifetime because this is a time that has been forecast for thousands of years the time of universal revelation and understanding to understand who are we are, what our history is, what's going on on this planet. We're not alone in the cosmos. We're not alone in the universe. And the sooner we experience that in our life, the mo most freedom we're going to have in our life and the happier we're going to be. But there are powers and things that go on that try to obstruct human experience and try to get in the way and prevent people from understanding because... If we understand the depth of our own being, we realize, oh, we have so much power, so much grace. Every single person on this life, in this planet, is just, the potential is just awesome. Every single one. So that's my intention, is to convey that somewhat to people. And I hope you explore some of my other videos. This is just an introduction. I'm trying to explain a little bit of my background and my perception. I've been a curious person all my life and investigate so many unusual subjects and not just by theory but I have practiced some meditation and have some incredibly deep powerful experiences to understand for me that's my own personal search I've shared things that meant something to me to help understand where I'm coming from because I experience something profound in this life every single day it's just totally amazing and when I sit and quietly reflect it's so simple it's just letting go it is our true, true divine nature to be joyful and enlightened and there are teachers out there who teach techniques and show people how exactly that's done and I hope to participate in that process somewhat so enjoy my content and explore a lot there's a lot of videos I um, present and as far as authority no I don't have a particular authority I couldn't claim any authority because I'm a firm believer in people having their own personal verification of anything that they want to believe we don't want to just believe in something to abstract we want to know something that's the purpose we need to know exactly what's going on in our life in this one existence that we have at this moment and the sooner we understand that in life the happier we're going to be throughout their whole life and it's just a fantastic journey so I've just tried to explore that with people and share that I don't claim to have any particular powers or anything I have some powerful experience of my own and uh, led me to some of my conclusions in life and when you connect a lot of dots I'm a good at pattern recognition see I I can recognize patterns and the way to recognize patterns is you see a whole lot of different dots then you can connect them you can connect a lot of dots and you start seeing the patterns then you can understand a little bit more insight into our fantastic existence so please enjoy all my content and I love commentary I love interacting with people we're all here for a purpose to have a, a joy of service and participate in this fantastic revelation that's going on, on this planet it's a unique opportunity there's millions of us here and billions all trying to participate and as we get clear about this process that we're going through we can unfold from a plant from a root all the way up through the stalk into this fantastic flower and then we can broadcast seeds out and the humanity is a is a fantastic 
participant in a grand revelation in the cosmos to manifest the beauty and manifest the joy and create all kinds of wonderful, beautiful things and harmonious relationships, which is the ultimate divine intent. But there's a lot of confusion out there and it caused a lot of problems. So the religions of the world, we need to understand a little bit. We have to go to the essential basics, the really essential things of we are existing, we're breathing, and a lot of the beliefs and concepts we have about the rest of existence are only limiting us. Yes, there's a God, yes, there's divine, and yes, there's these, this cosmic, fantastic existence, but it can't be limited by concepts and descriptions and, and theories. It has to be personally experienced and personally known. And that's a little bit about what I'm trying to explore here. And thanks again for listening, and I hope I see you in some of my videos.